buildup. That's something Raptors fans have been able to save for the last eight years, but not in 2021. Also, it's too much real shit going on in the world for me to be crying about making an all-star game. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't want to go anywhere. Let's 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 go with that. Let's go with that narrative. I'm gonna I'm gonna be salty and uh, be a sore loser. I, I didn't want to go. How about that? Steady Freddie with the jokes. It was a bit of a surprise for Raptors fans that no Raptors were voted in by the coaches to the All Star Reserve list, especially Van Vliet not getting the call. But he will continue to bet on himself. And understanding that I'm not going anywhere. It's not gonna be my last year. Being up for All-Star, I think I was very close, and all the guys that made it were just very deserving, and that's the case every year. So, you know, I'll keep getting better and, and give myself a, a better case next year. I think he definitely deserved to be on that team. He was one of the league's biggest snubs. So he would have been on my All-Star, and I think it was a bit of a surprise that he didn't make it because if you look at the analytics, the advanced analytics, he really deserved to be on the team. The Raptors had a rough start to the season, so it's not all that surprising that no player was named to the All-Star roster. But over the last three weeks, they have built themselves a strong case to be All-Star bound. The last 20 games, they've been one of the best teams in the league. And I think one of the things that makes the Raptors so special isn't necessarily their offense, which has been pretty good this year, but it's their defense. And when it comes to All-Star voting, sometimes that side of the ball is completely overlooked. The Jays continue spring training in Dunedin, just 40 minutes away from the Raps' temporary home in Tampa, Florida. Today, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. shared that he had lost over 40 pounds this offseason, and it's made a huge difference in his endurance. I feel a lot better. I feel quicker. I, that was, I would say that's the word to describe all I did. Quicker on all aspects of my game right now, especially running the bases of the gray, uh, taking ground balls before. I feel a lot of fatigue after 10 ground balls. Now I can take 50, 60 ground balls. I'm feeling good. The Leafs are back on the ice tonight, taking on the Flames and got some good news on the injury front. Head coach Sheldon Keefe said Freddie Anderson's lower body injury doesn't appear to be overly concerning. The 31-year-old was a late scratch ahead of the Leafs back-to-back -back against Calgary on Monday. Keefe also said that Hyman, who is day-to-day, -day, will be back in the lineup tonight against the Flames and will be on the first line with Marner and Matthews. Lindsay Dunn, City News.